After successfully completing the first challenge, all the teams moved on to the second round. Only this time, the stakes were higher. Okay, hey class, top two teams in this competition move on to the school-wide competition where you'll take an entire day off, okay? To compete, yes, okay? For people stranded during natural disasters and those caught in war-torn areas, successful airdrops provide life-saving nourishment and medical supplies. For the second round of the Helix Cup, we had to build an airdrop container that was both lightweight and tough enough to handle an impact without damaging the precious cargo. In order to do that, we had to push through the frustration that our first attempts might not work. We also had to tackle gravity, velocity, and acceleration. Who can tell me how do we determine the winner for this challenge? The height to weight ratio. The higher you can go without breaking, divided by the weight of your container. So the lighter it is, the better. The higher it lasts without breaking your egg, the better. So the bottom of the cup or the bottom inside? Of the cup. Bottom of the cup. Oh, okay. Because you can't have this whole thing. It's too big. Where's the other thing? We had to come up with a lot of different ideas on the spot. Pre-plan everything that you do. People have asked me before, like, why don't you teach high school? Like, you know, you have the background to teach um, at a higher level. I feel like middle school is the most vital time. It makes you actually think. Um, what else? What else we got going on here? We're gonna line the bottom of the cup with a little bit. Like that? Just like randomly placed in there? Just line it. We want it to cover the whole bottom. Of it. Say again? We want it to cover the whole bottom. The bottom goes like this, right? Can I show you something? Can you check that out for a second? There's okay. One layer, there's too many. Carson, this is what you're telling me you're doing on the bottom, right? But your egg is sitting like this. Where's the egg? Where's yeah, the egg? It's not, it's not really Where's, okay. This is supposed to cushion it? Not all of them. We're going to have cotton too around it. Okay, let me ask you this question. When is the the elasticity of a rubber band best? When it's in tension or compression? Tension. When it's in tension. When you put it in the cup like this, is it under tension or compression? Compression. It's compression. So is it going to do its job to cushion? Not really. Okay, okay, it's so just rubber. That's so like I want you to think, is there a way you can change how it's being compressed in there? Yeah, but I don't want it to bounce out. That's the thing. Could you secure it some other way? I don't know, because the tape doesn't really stick to that styrofoam. We have duct tape. Does that stick better? I don't know. We can test it. I mean, Just try it. That's Here. That's so hard. That means you have to poke a hole out. Like... That's true, but I want you to think. If, if this is not going to help you, it's just adding weight, right? If it's not going to do its job, then it's pointless. Science is not the enemy now, but something that they can build off of and they can still do. Now, they don't have to be a scientist, um, but I want them to understand science because once you get that mentality of, oh, I'm bad at science, you don't want to hear anything about science. You just want to say, oh, well, let the scientists talk about it. It's important to understand science because it's not just for scientists. It's for you and your life and to make choices that are, you know, for the good or bad of your health or for society. Oh, where'd the others Did I knock it? Oh, wait, I thought we were putting the egg in already. <laughs> no, we have to no, wait without it. it. <laughs> Are we going to tape it onto the rubber band or wrapping it? Because if we wrap it, it that'll Well, be... we should wrap and tape it, I think. I want you to think of it as emergency relief, OK? Think about what medicines you're trying to deliver and how you're trying to get it safely to a, a country in need. And we're going to measure your egg drop contraptions, and then we're going to go outside and test them. I have a feeling that it's going to work, but then I have a feeling that something's going to go wrong. Do you want to wear it? Yeah. A lot. When I'm not at school, I have gymnastics from Monday through Friday, from 5.30 to 9. So it's pretty much just school and then gymnastics. I like Greek mythology, mostly. Drop it, drop it, drop it, Carson, just drop it, drop it now, test it now, zero time. I'd like to study engineering or computer programming. I'll probably try to guess something in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. 
I don't know what I want to do yet. All right, and stop, stop. It was an afternoon of mixed feelings after the egg drop round. Some teams like Slow Pokes and three Kool-Aid flavors that showed promise early on were knocked out. Other teams, including Crunchy Ice and my team, Atomic Dark Force, were excited to head to the school-wide competition, one step closer to representing our schools at the district-wide finals. The only thing that stood in our way was our ability to master centrifugal force with nothing but a salad spinner. Next up, the centrifuge.